We've got a trade. We have a trade to announce. We've got a trade to announce. Not wasting any time getting some help. Kyle Dubas trades with someone he's very familiar with. Is Bill the, Armstrong. Is he the only guy who will take Kyle's calls? I think so. <laughs> Kyle's calling around. It's like a lot of people change their numbers in this league. Bill's picking up. Defenseman for a forward. Mm-hmm. We've got uh, trading for need. Curtis Douglas, a member of the Toronto Marlies, now headed to Arizona for Connor Timmins. Yes. A one time high prospect. Yeah. He had a lot of upside. Yep. Ran into some injuries, including uh, a, a fairly significant concussion. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, he's, he's battled. Uh, I think he's missed close to, like, a season. Wow. If I'm not mistaken. Here's what, here's what I know about him. I know yeah. he is six foot two and 200 pounds. He shoots right. Yeah. He was drafted in the second round barely, I think 32nd overall, which technically yeah. now is the first round. Um, and he makes, like, league minimum. And they have no D-men. So, to me, it's like, okay, and take the flyer. Pl- and he played for the uh, Sioux Greyhounds. God, why? Why does that have to be a and thing? In he fact, may, he may have played. He was a, a partner, I think. Of Mac Hollowell. Of Mac Hollowell. And to Sammy's point, he saw Hollowell in practice and went, God, I'd sure prefer to have his partner from the Sioux. <laughs> <laughs> Just went out and got an up, the upgraded guy on the pair. So, so yeah, this but, is, at the very least, throw it on the wall and see if it sticks 100 percent. you just need options like there weren't even guys to turn to anymore like i don't believe you or anyone even they believe that mac hollowell is going to be a permanent fixture could connor connor timmons i actually like hearing that he had some injury issues not because that's good yeah but because you'd like to think that there's something that held him back yes. from reaching potential and that's 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 the thing right now yeah is that uh is is the worst behind him and can Kyle see something in him that says if once he gets over that hump, and we've all, we've all played with guys that you just like ah, he's injury prone and mm-hmm. it's like they just need that one stretch where they can get out of that and start getting a, a regular feel, a routine, mm-hmm. get consecutive games in. I, I don't know if it's going to be this kid or not, but it, it's it's worth a shot here. They were they were down on. Curtis Douglas. Really? Yes. Because going into the year, you know, I talked to people who thought he might be the next guy up. Oh, no, no. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, at some point, either at the end of last season or going into the summer, Kyle Dubas made it a point to say that th- they think that this kid can come in and challenge. Yeah. Well, and and I th- believe he plays center as well, Douglas. And you got Pontus Holmberg yeah. up here who had no goals, not a physical menace. He clearly hadn't, uh, Douglas didn't have the season they were hoping for. Um, before, so if I don't know if you want more just, on him. Yeah, yeah. Just to add um, that Connor Timmons, like there is some there is some pedigree here. He was a second round pick, the 32nd overall pick. Oh, no. Uh, second second round, sorry, six foot two right shot hey, defenseman. That made highly him. regarded yeah. as a top prospect. Was he once Colorado? No, it's someone else. Um, but yeah, no, he is, yeah, he's he comes from, from somewhere where he, he was expected to be great, so yeah. that's good. The one thing that does concern me, fellas, whether he's been injury-prone and working yeah. his way back or not, he can't crack the Arizona Coyotes decor. Yeah. J.J. Moser, Moser, and you know Patrick Dyson Mayo, yeah. Troy Stetcher, Shane God, like, I don't know. He can't, he can't crack that group. Well, he's, he's going to come in, a uh, fairly skilled guy, a uh, puck mover. I, I guess he can get pucks through to the net. He had 60 points when yeah. you're in the in the OHL. So th- there is that pedigree a little game. bit. Wow. Uh, but he gives them nothing when it comes to sandpaper and grit. That's not this guy. Mm-hmm. So if we want to, you know, even go back to what we thought was a fairly minor trade last year for Labushkin, he is not that guy. No, 